So we have a situation here where we're comparing two similar shapes. You've got the inner circle and you've got the big circle. And we're told that the area outside of the inner circle, in other words, that shaded area, is three times as much as the smaller circle's area. But the thing is that the shaded area is not a shape that I know how to work with. I mean, it's, it's just a ring. But if I add the shaded area to the inner circle, that's a circle. Right? If we add the two together, so if, so if I build a ratio, you know, ring to small circle to big circle, I would say that that's a ratio of three to one to four. So the third column is my inference column and it's where I put in the sum of the first two columns. But now just looking at the two columns on the right side, we have small circle to big circle is one to four. And this is a two-dimensional ratio because we're comparing areas. For the question itself, it looks like we're interested in a one-dimensional ratio because they're talking about lengths. I mean, a circumference is a length after all. So how do we go from a two-dimensional ratio to a one-dimensional ratio when we're dealing with similar shapes? We just take the square root of that ratio. So the ratio of one to four turns into a ratio of one to two. And now we can finish this off and say that the circumference of the big circle is exactly two times as big as the circumference of the small circle. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.